So today, five devotees will take first initiation. Two, 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 two or three devotees will sit in the fire sacrifice who didn't, who are initiated, but who didn't sit in the fire sacrifice. And one devotee will get second initiation. So we're ready for translation. I guess I need a Ashram cup to demonstrate, right? Yes? We have, oh, one cup for everybody. Oh, and one for me, it looks like. Okay. I think most of you know how to do Ajma. Do you want everybody to wear the clean chatters right now or just for reduction? Yeah, now. Why not? Harinam initiation. I'll just demonstrate then I'll, I can give you the cup. You know how to do Ajma. You know? Do you know how to do Ashman? Maybe. Maybe they don't know. We had a, a bhakta. We were on, traveling. He was a young devotee. And we had deities. They're not installed. It was on a traveling party. We said, can you put the deities to sleep? And then we said, you have to say Achman before you put the deities to sleep. So what do you think he did? Achman. He said Achman. So now we're going to say Achman without saying Achman. When I say Achman, I say Om Keshavayana. Om Narayana Vayanama, Om Mara Vayanama. But some people say Om Mara Vayanama, Om Govinda Vayanama. What do you say? Narayana? Madhava? Okay. So, are the Russians ready yet? We're going to do Achman. I will demonstrate. This is my left hand. I'm going to take three drops in the right hand. One, two, three. And we say, Om Kishavaya Namaha. And we sip it and we take a drop. We drop it. And then another drop to wash your hands. This is called mantra water. Could be a big business. You get big vats of water and you go, Om Kishavaya Namaha. And then you empower uh, the Shakti in the water. And you have mantra water. And you have billboards all over India that says, Did you drink your mantra water today? This is, this is how we become purified internally. We take the name of Krishna, it goes in the water, and then we take it. Okay. One. Two, three. Om Narayanaya Namaha. Maybe when they do the fire yoga, Mukunda Data will do this again. And the last time? Ek, do, teen. Om Maravaya Namaha. I think, I think, um, yeah, okay. So, when we do the Achman, we chant a mantra. Om Ma Pavitra Pavitova Sarvava 
Vastam Kutopi Va Pundarikaksham Shava Payantara Suchihi Sri Vishnu Sri Vishnu Sri Vishnu Sometimes we chant this mantra in between each one, but one is this is the question we have to ask whether we're pure or impure. We already know we're not pure. But what this means is pure materially, pious materially, like whether you're born somebody, maybe you robbed a bank. Who knows what you've done? Whether you're pure, impure, or whatever you've done. Yatsmare Pundarik Aksham. Yeah, if someone smare remembers Pundarik Aksham. Pundarik Aksham means lotus eyes. Well, now I look Chinese, right? <laughs> Big eyes. <I> <laughs> I'm making a lot of fences already. I've only been speaking for three minutes. If one remembers the lotus-eyed Krishna, then sarva bhayantara suchi antar bahir inside and outside you'll be purified. So this ceremony is a samskara, samskara is for purification. So this mantra is chanted to 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 recognize, confirm, sanctify, validate that this is a purification process and anyone can become purified. And I, I'm an example. And my book that I'm trying to write about Prabhupada to find the time to do it, the tentative title is An Ordinary Person with an Extraordinary Spiritual Master. So, uh, if you ever see anything good in me, know that I, in the past, before I was a devotee, I was just an ordinary person like everybody, like every other ordinary person. That was not a disqualification, because when you have an extraordinary guru, you become extraordinary by his association. And so, when you take initiation into Godi, the Godi of Sampradaya gives you the opportunity to become purified to the highest level of prema, no matter where you've come from. That's the idea. So, these crazy devotees want to take initiation. Now, this is your last chance to run away if you think this is like too much. I shouldn't do this. When I was 19, I took initiation, a vow of celibacy for a 19-year-old hippie. That was like crazy. Right? Like, who did I think I was? I'm going to do this. Somehow or other, more or less, so, you know, I'm going on somehow. You know. It's possible by the power of the Holy Name. So, so it's kind of a crazy thing when you think about it, to take these vows. It's like, Bhishma! <laughs> Sixteen rounds, four principles. Bhishma! <laughs> Solid! You know. So why, why do we take these vows? We're already chanting Hare Krishna, we're already connected to Prabhupada. We, we, we've got everything, except the three strands of neck beats and the spiritual nymph. We've got everything else. Why? Because we're serious about perfecting our life in this life. We're serious about going back to Godhead, so we want to take vows. We take vows, someone might say, for those of you who have vowed to chant 16 rounds and have done it every day, did you ever think there were some days I wouldn't have done it if I didn't take the vow? Raise your hand. Yeah, well, of course, we don't know how many vows myself that I will do it. In theory, I will do it. It's not guaranteed, but that's the idea, right? So Prabhupada said, 16 rounds and four principles, I'll take you back to Godhead. So those who get, are getting initiated, want to do that, are willing to take that step forward. Mm. 
We'll speak a little bit about initiation, and we'll speak a little bit about the holy name, and then we'll give the names. Maybe we should, yeah, okay. Yeah. Should we give the names first? Yes. Yes? Okay, names first. You're going to follow, and then you will get your name. So we'll start with Kama. Shiva Prabhupada Ki You know, Shastra says, when you pay obeisance, I don't know if you know this, it says when you pay obeisances to the Guru, you should pay straight forward. Did you know that? It's most in our temples, it's not going to work that way. Really. To the deities with your left side and to the demigods with your right side. So sometimes we see devotees paying obeisances straight to the asasana and we think, oh, they don't know anything. But we're the ones who don't know anything. Okay, so this is Kamal from Delhi. He's been practicing Krishna consciousness a long time. And today's his big day. So Kamal. How many rounds are you going to chant? 16. 16, 16 minimum. Okay. What kind of rounds? Sleepy rounds? Attentive rounds. Attentive. How many offenses are you going to make when you chant? Less than 10? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to say something. I forgot. And Prabhupada defined offenseless as trying to avoid the offenses. All you can do is try. You don't know the results. So if we try to focus, we try to pray, we try to chant sincerely, that's not considered an offense. Right. And what are the four principles? First is no meat eating, including fish and eggs, no gambling, no intoxication, and no illicit sex. Okay. Um, we had uh, initiated Sureshwar's daughter in Bangalore and she was very nervous and so when we were asking for the four principles she forgot and I said well if you just forget just say I won't go to Las Vegas because all four <laughs> principles are broken there yeah. <laughs> you, you say if you can't remember the four principles just say Guru Maharaj, I won't go to Las Vegas only to visit the temple because there's a temple there. But otherwise, it's a, that's, that covers the four. I mean, seriously, those four things are but Las Vegas. All right, so, um, yeah, I, I wanted to make it easy for you to remember your name and easy for your wife to remember your name. So we just added Lochana to your name, so now you're Kamala Lochana Dasa. Oh. So, Lochana means eyes, and Kamala means lotus, like Pundarikaksha, the same thing. It's a different way of saying lotus eyes. If you look in Bhagavatam, there are many verses where Krishna is addressed, oh, lotus eyes one. So you can find that many references in Bhagavatam. You were addressing me with the same name, Maharaj. What? You were addressing me with the same name. Before, Kamala Lochana? Oh, okay. Lotus eyes, English. Oh yeah, all right. Well, Krishna's arrangement. Thank you, Krishna. Sri the Prabhupada ki Kamala Lochana Das the ki Ritu. We have, um, in Sanskrit, Ritu means two seasons. And Hemanta means fall. So we have almost all the seasons present here. Hmm.
Okay, Ritu. We'll give you the microphone. Ritu. How many rounds? And how many are you going to do in the future? <laughs> and the four principles? Yes, uh, no gambling, no intoxication, no meat eating, including meat, fish, eggs, and uh, no illicit relations. So, yesterday we went to Chandra Sarovara. Remember? Well, I don't know if you were there. We went to Chandrasarovara and we heard what you may know already that on every full moon Krishna does Ras Lila. And if you don't know that, when you go to Vrindavan they'll say, here's Seva Kunj, this is where Krishna did Ras Lila, you know, the big one, Autumn Ras Lila, but he does Ras Lila all kinds of places around here. And Sometimes those places where he does Ras Lila are referred to as Rasa Stali, the place, or Prabhupada calls it the stage where the Rasa Lila is performed. So, guess what your name is? Your name is Rasa Stali Devi Dasi. And uh, you can meditate on the Rasa Lila, you can also uh, pray that you can enter the Rasa Lila. And that, that would be make Prabhupada very happy if you do that. And I'll tell you a story. Some, I, I don't know the details. Maybe Nagnapati, you, you may have heard the story from Mula Prakriti where I think it was some man asked Prabhupada, can you, you see Krishna? And Prabhupada said, yes. And he asked the man, can you see Krishna? And the man said, no. And Mula Prakriti, Prabhupada asked her, can you see Krishna? And she said, no, but I want to. And Prabhupada said, I want to show you Krishna. So, if you enter Ras Lila, Prabhupada will be happy, because that's where he wants to take you. Rasastali Devi Dasi Ki Hey Mont, this is Hey Mont. He's been waiting a long time to get initiated. And Hey Mont likes to serve. And whenever I come to India, I just call him, give him my laundry list. I need this, I need that. And he arranges. Involved in helping that and Radhadamada. I, I can come and leave India now. But I was red flagged. Which means when you go through immigration, they stop you. And as many of you know, I was stopped twice for about 24 hours. Once in Calcutta and once in uh, Delhi. I, Calcutta was better because the policemen were just like singing bhajans and you know, it was good. Delhi, not so much. A little Radhe Radhe, but yeah. So, let's hear it. Hare I will follow uh, all energy principles. No sex, no meat eating, no gambling, no intoxication. And giant um, minimum 16 rounds throughout my life. Okay, so Heymat is very happy. He, he really hit the threshold of his life where I have to get an issue. So that's good. He had that. That's the real qualification. I need this. I want to become serious. I want to dedicate my life to Krishna. So, your name is, well, well your beads. Really, really. Nice beads. I was going to steal them. I like them. <laughs> Almost as good as my beads. Your name. My wife said, Call him Hanuman, he looks like a monkey. <laughs> no, she, she, she didn't really say that. She said, you should call him Hanuman, he likes to serve. I was like, yeah, but that's brown bhakta. I don't know. But it's true, he likes to serve. But I came up with a better name than Hanuman. I think it's better than Hanuman's good. But your name is Hari Bhakti Dasa.
Hari is Hari and Bhakti is Bhakti. <laughs> so, what more can I say? The Hari Bhakti devotional service, the internal potency. Stay, stay within the parameters of the internal potency. You'll be fine. Keep the gates closed so Maya doesn't get in. Just surround yourself with Hari Bhakti. Hari Krishna. Hari Bhakti Das Ki Hari Bhakti. Now, when you go to Mayapur and they ask you your name, you have to say, My name is Hari Bhakti. Hari Bhakti. It's not Hari in Mayapur, it's Hari. Hari. Hari Bhakti. Dasha. It's not Dasa, it's Dasha. My name is Huri Huri Bhakti Dash. <laughs> and my name is Matmo <laughs> Dash. Have a good brother. He always calls me Matmo. <laughs> so. Sound like a Swedish. Sound like a Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Marina. She came all the way from Russia. She's been on the path of bhakti for many years and uh, I've been trying to help her for many, many years and she's come a very long way from our original discussions, right? Yeah, she... From some confusion, some doubts, some yo-yoing, up and down. So she's become a very nice devotee now. So I'm very happy that you are here today doing this. She's happier than I am. She's ecstatic actually. Hare Krishna. So whenever you feel ready you can recite. I was going to call her Dimple, but I couldn't find that in Sanskrit. We have these mystical microphones that just turn off whenever they feel like it. Everything is chintamani conscious. <laughs> I guess you want a name, right? Okay. <laughs> These are yours? Yeah. Her name is Marina. If you go to South America, you'll find many Marinas. I guess in Russia also. Yeah. Yes? Is that common? No. Yes? 
Yeah. Interesting, right? What does it say? Radha? It doesn't say anything. I'm not sure. Okay. So, you were once Marina, and now you are Malini Devi Dasi. Hari! You can stay, I will explain. So, we have Rasastali, and there's a connection with Malini with Rasastali, and I'll explain it. Malin, it's, the name is Malini Devi and Dasi, not Malini Devi Dasi, but Malini Devi Dasi. Some names are given between the two. So Rasastali is the Rasa dance in Vrindavan, Shivas Thakur's house, obviously Malini lived in that house, that was her house. Like, if you, if you go to someone's house, you, your tones were non-different than Ras Lila because the associates of Mahaprabhu were all gopis and these forms of sadhus and their kirtan was equivalent to Ras Lila. So you have Rasa Stali and Malini is also connected with Ras Lila. And you're going to Mayapur, right? Yes? Oh, no. But anyway, you can meditate on many things with your name. Malani Devi Dasi Ki Jai! Why do I pronounce your name? Zoom. Zoomagul. Zoomagul. Mas. Zoomagul. From Kazakhstan. Six years. Six years, yes. Does lots of service. Take charge, right? You're in charge of some programs? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How many rounds? Я обещаю соблюдать четыре регулирующих принципа: не есть мясо, рыба, яйца, не принимать интоксикации, не играть в азартные игры и не вступать в незаконные половые отношения. И обещаю ежедневно внимательно воспевать 16 кругов махамантры на чуйках. So I promised to be on my land to follow the more regulated principles, no uh, meat, fish, eggs, no intoxications, no gambling, no illicit sex, and to chant 16 rounds, good rounds, attentive rounds, um, of my mahamantra on my beads every day. We have a problem. <laughs> What about after the end of your life? The same thing. Good, yeah. Jumagu. I thought Sumangala, you know, but then I thought it's too similar. I mean, it's good having Kamala Lochana. 